Recent findings from China's Chang'e 6 mission have unveiled the presence of few-layer graphene in the lunar soil, which is a material known on Earth for its extraordinary strength and conductivity. This revelation not only challenges our understanding of the Moon's geological composition, but also hints at new possibilities for future space endeavors. In this video, we will delve deep into why this discovery matters, unravel its science, and discuss how it could shape future lunar missions. The discovery of few-layer graphene by the Chang's 5 mission marks a significant milestone in lunar science. Graphene, which is a form of carbon just one atom thick yet stronger than steel, has been extensively studied on Earth for its potential in various high-tech applications, from electronics to energy storage, and its detection on the Moon opens up a wealth of possibilities for both scientific research and practical applications in space exploration. Researchers from Jilin University, in collaboration with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, employed advanced techniques like scanning electron microscopy and Raman spectroscopy to analyze the lunar soil samples. These methods confirm the presence of graphene with a crystalline quality similar to that produced in terrestrial laboratories, suggesting a natural genesis of this material on the Moon. This indicates that the Moon's surface conditions could spontaneously generate materials useful for future technologies. But why is this discovery profound? Firstly, it challenges the previously held assumption that the Moon is entirely devoid of valuable carbon-based materials, which suggests that the lunar regolith is more chemically complex than previously believed, offering new insights into the Moon's geological evolution and its exposure to cosmic and solar influences. The graphene could have formed through processes such as mineral catalysis, influenced by the solar wind and past volcanic activity on the Moon. Moreover, the presence of this material might revolutionize how we think about in situ resource utilization, which is the practice of harvesting and utilizing materials found on other celestial bodies. Graphene's remarkable properties could be harnessed for many uses, from building stronger structures on the Moon to developing better wear and radiation resistant materials for spacecraft and suits, drastically reducing the need to transport materials from Earth. This also fuels the debate about the Moon's formation and history. Understanding the conditions under which graphene formed can provide clues about the Moon's past environments, possibly offering evidence of water or other volatile compounds that could reshape our theories about not only the Moon, but also other similar celestial bodies in our solar system and beyond. The Chang'e 6 mission, while a follow-up to Chang'e 5, aims to build on these groundbreaking findings by targeting the collection of different types of lunar material from the far side of the Moon. The end of the Chang'e 6 mission, characterized by the controlled deorbiting of the Ascender unit, marks a significant point in space mission management that showcases China's commitment to sustainable space exploration by minimizing space debris and potential contamination. This end was meticulously planned. The Ascender, after collecting moon samples, was safely docked with an orbiter that brought these precious materials back to Earth. Subsequently, the Ascender was deliberately crashed into the Moon's surface, a practice that prevents it from becoming space junk and posing risks to future missions. This also highlights the importance of ethical practices in the era of frequent space travel. The data and samples returned by the recent mission will now be analyzed to complement the findings from Chang'e 5 potentially confirming the widespread presence of graphene and providing more data about its properties and formation. With the upcoming Chang 7 and others in the pipeline, focusing on the exploration of water ice and other critical resources at the lunar south pole, the strategic importance of the moon in space exploration is being redefined. These missions could pave the way for the establishment of a sustainable human presence on the moon, serving as a launching pad for deeper space exploration. Comparing the recent discoveries with those of past missions like Apollo and other programs, we observe a significant evolution in both the technology used and the findings themselves. Earlier missions primarily focused on collecting rock and soil samples without the capability to detect complex carbon compounds like graphene. 
This discovery also provokes a re-evaluation of the Moon's geological narratives. Past theories of the Moon's formation and volcanic history might need revision in light of new evidence, suggesting more complex chemical processes at play. This continuous learning process is what makes lunar science particularly exciting and vital. Furthermore, the potential applications of lunar graphene in developing space infrastructure highlight the practical value of these scientific endeavors. The ability to use lunar materials directly for construction on the moon or enhancements in space travel technology could significantly alter how long-term missions are planned. Lunar graphene could be the cornerstone of future habitats, providing materials that are not only incredibly strong and lightweight, but also capable of withstanding harsh conditions of space. In the end, this opens a new chapter in our lunar journey, promising exciting possibilities for future explorations and a deeper understanding of our closest celestial neighbor. As we continue to uncover the moon's secrets, each finding not only answers old questions, but also raises new ones, keeping the allure of lunar exploration alive and more vibrant than ever. Thank you for joining this intriguing exploration of one of the most significant lunar discoveries to date. Stay tuned as we follow the ongoing journey of humanity's quest to explore, and perhaps one day, settle our celestial neighbor.